What's up guys, it's Drifts and Lifts here. All right, so today's episode, uh, we got a bit of gravy for you guys. So we got a drift event at Mission Speedway. We got Larry the wagon here, so uh, we fixed his boost creep issue. Um, we're gonna start him up, go to the drift event. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. We got a bunch of friends coming. I don't really think many Volvos are coming, but um, I don't know, Larry should be pretty good. gonna fire this thing up and go load up all my tires and stuff um, and then we can start packing up and get ready oh it's running kind of weird oh my god something's wrong with it oh my god should probably check under the hood oh my gosh look at all the oil guys what happened here? Oh my gosh, is that a hole in the block? Oh my gosh, it is too. <laughs> oh crap. All right, so I was just lying to you guys. Um, so unfortunately, I did not get this on film. Um, I put a hole in the block. So you guys remember the boost creep video. I was talking about putting ethanol, a three inch math, and big injectors in the thing and a lot of boost. and this is what I have to show for it. So um, what happened guys is I put this three inch MAF from the 760. I got our total turbo services uh, TD 06 17C from a Typhoon on there. So a different turbo. Um, got my 630cc injectors in there and we filled it with ethanol. I took it for a rip. Um, I really should have been filming. I apologize guys. I actually just went to take it around the block to see if it would run okay. And then I got a little bit carried away of course. Uh, I turned the boost up to about 20 pounds. It ripped good. I thought I'd go a little bit more. We went up to about 23 and it leaned out and blew up. So it was really fast until it blew up. Um, I will I will say this thing was spinning all the way through first and second gear in the auto tranny in the dry. So it's probably making like 250 horsepower at the time. I had the timing cranked on it, um, but I do not think that this was a detonation issue. I think it was just running straight lean. Well, I guess that would have caused it to detonate, but um, it wasn't because of like a timing issue, straight lean. So uh, because I was running too much ethanol, like all ethanol, um, it actually caused it to be, when, you, when you're running all ethanol, you need even bigger injectors. Whereas the panel wagons on a half ethanol mixture. Um, so we could get away with the 630cc injectors that we had this car, Ran it lean. So unfortunately guys, it's back to the drawing board for this car, but uh, I do have another plan up my sleeve to go drifting today. Um, we'll head over to the garage. We got more Volvos. We got Volvos everywhere, right? But yeah, unfortunately guys, this is uh, kind of what's left of this car. So unfortunately it was pretty short lived. You take the risk of messing around with like Mickey Mousey type shit like this. Um, Dan, my good friend and tuner at Post Haste Performance, all he could do was face palm when I told him this. <laughs> um, obviously doing it this way is not the correct way, but um, anyways guys, I'm gonna let Larry hang out here for the day and uh, we're gonna go get our other car that we're gonna be drifting today. All right, so it looks like we got a 1990 740 sedan. Looks to be turbo, all right. So um, my good friend Josh Reel, I actually sold this car to him not too long ago. You guys probably remember this car, its name was Jack. I picked this thing up for pretty cheap. Um, so I sold it to Josh. He just wanted a winter beater, uh, drift, you know, kind of do it all car, just like I was building with Larry. He got it and it was kind of a piece of shit, um, but he has been doing some work on it, so it's not too bad. It is drift ready at this point. So he stripped all the stuff out of the trunk, did a sunroof delete, stripped all the carpet out, welded the differential. Uh, he cleaned up the engine bay a little bit, so it's ready to go. Stripped out all the AC stuff in the front. Um, Stripped out this AC stuff. I think this turbo is still good. He didn't put a boost controller on it So I'm gonna actually do that right now before the event um, What else should I do this thing before we go actually last night just put some 2050 oil in it Because it had uh, Josh told me he put 530 because that's all he had laying around and that's not quite thick enough for my liking I like these red blocks to be ran on like diesel oil and stuff. So uh, they usually just sound a lot better like that Another funny thing guys is I'm amazed that Larry actually started up this morning um, with the rod hanging out the block like that. It's kind of cool. The car did actually get me home um, with all the rods hanging out the block or one of them or two of them, whatever. But yeah, it was cool. Uh, it was pretty ca catastrophic. There was a lot of smoke under the hood. Um, it was pretty funny. So, you know, 
It's kind of sad, honestly. That was really dumb of me. I really should not have turned the boost up more. Um, I didn't have a wide band. It was full YOLO moment. Just like, whoa, this is really fast. Let's see if we can make it faster. Clickety click, 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 kaboom. But yeah, so that's how it goes, but you know, not the end of the world. So we're still gonna drift today. It's pretty funny guys, cause this car has a 13C turbo in it. So that's like the smallest turbo these cars ever came with. And just look how insanely fast the boost is on these things. Like a little bit of throttle. It's freaking instant. It's so quick. It kind of makes the power band almost like a V8 because um, it hits boost so early. It gets the torque really early. It's not super fun, but it's actually kind of cool. Um, I definitely know why they did put this turbo in from the factory. It made it probably a little better on fuel and like definitely more responsive, but definitely can't flow a whole lot of air. Once you get past 12 pounds of boost, these turbos run out of steam. All right guys, so uh, we're gonna get ready for a couple laps here, but uh, I figured I'd show you guys Turbo Scott's new car, but he's actually N.A. Scott yeah. now. N.A. Scott. N.A. Scott, Scott, yeah. <laughs> so he's got a 330i BMW, and actually a good friend, Jake, you guys all know Jake, the guy with the BMW powered Volvo. Uh, he actually just swapped a new motor into this car for Scott and welded the differential. So figured he'd take it for a rip. This is my guy, Robbie, in his JZX 110. Pretty sick car, you guys have probably seen that on the channel. Here's my guy Addison behind him. He's actually the owner and operator of Total Turbo Services. So uh, yeah, we'll go we'll go uh, we'll go say hi to those guys in a bit. But um, let's see. I'll probably unload my car and take this thing for a lap. All right. So first lap in Josh's rental Volvo Drift car. So this is a pretty technical layout. I'm going to follow Turbo Scott, but I'm going to leave him a bit of room because I don't want to smash his nice BMW. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Oh my lord. Fuck. Okay, these tires have no fucking grip. poopy winters that have no tread on them. So what we're gonna do is put these on. No, oh, no, they should be a little better. It's kind of a weird tire. I had these on the panel wagon that last video actually. All right, let's go see how these tires work. So I got a bit of an issue with this car guys. It just shut off on me. I don't know why it won't start running again. Um, I popped the hood. I took all the insulation out of here because the engine bay was getting really hot and this coil was like cooking. So uh, even feeling it after letting it cool off for five, 10 minutes, it's still really hot. So I might let that cool off. That might be the culprit. I'm not too sure. I can't really see anything like disconnected, you know, fuel wise or anything. I really hope it's not the, the fuel pump that went. That would really, really suck. But, uh, or the wiring to it because Josh actually did a new fuel pump in this car, E85 fuel pump, so I don't know. Maybe we'll give it a go right now. Come on, you oh, oh we got a little bit. Come on. Piece of shit. Alright guys, so since my car isn't running, I'm just gonna walk around the pitch, check out some friends' cars. So we got Robbie's JZX 110. You guys have seen this on a couple videos already. It's one JZ. It's got like the single turbo factory turbo. It's got angle mods. Pretty sick car, honestly. The interiors of these cars are really nice. Um, really rare too. Like in Canada, we do not see very many of these. Um, if I actually had like some money to spend and I wasn't like a, a Volvo weirdo, I'd probably have one of those cars. And what do we got going on here? What's this unit about? Uh, just Tell me about it. Sanger Jangle. 
K single cam. Nice. I uh, got a T28 turbo uh, built by uh, Addison Total Turbo Services. Nice. There Fill you go. Fill a wheel on that one. Uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Stock stock engine. Uh, just uh, chip DCU, some some fuel things, fuel pressure, some injectors, and. What's up with you know, that manifold there, that exhaust manifold? Is that like stock or uh, or, or like some it, sort of? It's a cast manifold I got off eBay. Oh, okay, that's sweet. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Weld a different flange on it. And I don't know why the heck I would have said, is that stock? It's not like, okay, <laughs> it came with a turbo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. No, I just made a custom heat shield for that. Nice, man. Yeah, that's pretty good. And this thing, um, Taylor's been drifting it for like years and years. Yeah, six seasons. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I remember seeing yeah. this back in like 2013, 14, maybe yeah. 15. Yeah. It's totally <laughs> unopened motor. All I've ever done is valve cover gasket. That's wow. I've gotten into it. And it's like 210 horsepower to the wheel, maybe not yeah, even. Like, little, no, a little more. Probably little more, 220. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, 220, okay, sweet. A little more torque. Than yeah, that. yeah, that's sweet. So that I guess that turbo kind of maxes out like 250. Yeah. Sort of something around there. Really cool, super budget, uh, grassroots setup, shall we say. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sick. And then we got over here Addison's car. So uh, this is Addison, owner and operator of Total Turbo Services. So uh, he's the guy who builds all my turbos. Always super stoked on them. Unfortunately, we didn't get to really see what the Typhoon Turbo can do because uh, I, I put a hole in the motor. But we'll get to that at another time. We'll put that turbo on another car. So this is an interesting motor. Yeah, it's a built CA18. Um, so if for people that don't know what a CA18 is, isn't it like an RB20 minus two cylinders yeah, kind of what they say? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's what yeah. came in uh, like 180SXs before the SR20. Sure. Yeah. Um, so this, yeah, 180SX actually would have been 1.8 1 .8 liter at, exactly. one, at one point in time, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. Nissan discontinued the motor because it was actually costing them too much money. To build. Interesting. Uh, that's why they went to the SR. There you <laughs> go. Which yeah. Kind of funny because the SR is a lot more popular. Than yeah, yeah, for sure. But these these are pretty solid engines. Like they're pretty reliable. They're pretty bulletproof. Um, they actually come stock with a fully forged body. A lot of people don't know that. Oh wow, that's cool. Yeah. So it can hold like 450 of the wheels or whatever. Well, like the problem is they're just so small, right? The yeah, 1.8. Yeah. That's why everyone goes with the two liter. Fair but, enough. Yeah, um, it's a little bit not enough displacement to really crank yeah, nuts. Exactly, but it's got uh, CD pistons, my cams. Uh, it, it's kind of a mild build. It's got head studs. Uh, air nice. Piece, uh, yeah, air piece. And then uh, I built the turbo for it. Yeah, so it's custom with 28 on it. Two, 250 yeah. wheel kind of setup. Like. Uh, it dynoed at 270 wheel. Actually. Nice, that's not bad. Yeah. Which isn't yeah. bad, but it's a lot. Of, it's in the high RPM. Right? Sure, yeah. It, it's pretty uh, gutless down low. Yeah, there's just, just not enough displacement to yeah. really like crank it out. Yeah. But it's totally happy. And it's just a T28 turbo? Uh, it's, it's a little bit more custom than yeah, that, but yeah. it's, a, it's a T28 frame. Sure, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, got an yeah. oversized billet wheel in it and uh, cool. upgraded thrust components, yeah. Sick. And you've been drifting this car how long? Like, I remember seeing you in this car a long time, like, yeah. I've been, <laughs> I've been drifting this car for 10 years. Uh, it's had a few different engines in it. Nice, I've yeah. I've had this engine in it for for probably six or seven years now, and it, it's been totally reliable. That's um, cool, yeah. Yeah, and I, I bounce off the limiter, 8,000 RPM. Oh yeah, 8,000, that's quite, that's yeah. pretty high too, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I wish I could say the same, guys. Um, one day I'll put together a Volvo that will last, but I mean, I am pushing my Volvos very hard. Like 30 pounds on a stock vitamin is a lot, but you know. <laughs> say the least. I'll figure it out one day. Yeah. Yeah, sick. No, definitely a cool car. Um, just typical grassroots S13 style. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> pretty missly indeed. Yeah, sick. But it works good. Yeah, no doubt. All right, guys, well, I'm just gonna hang out. I honestly don't even know if I wanna mess around with that car and try to get it running and just sit there and pull stuff off all day long. I might just get it towed home, honestly. Uh, but maybe I'll get a friend to let me drift one of their cars. Maybe Scott will let me take the BMW for a rip. So yeah, we'll just hang out, kind of enjoy the day. It's a nice day. It's not raining too hard. All right, guys, so I'm just going to hop in some friends' cars. Go cool for a ride with Robbie. Man, this car feels so good. It sounds good, it looks good, it drifts good. Oh, it's, this thing's great. This car 
there's a treat to ride in, you know? Yeah, it's, it's a luxury. It's not like a drift car. Well, but it's like, it's a drift car luxury though. It's a luxury drift car. It is. That's, That's what it is. The best way of looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right guys, so we're going for a rift in Addison's CA Missile Mobile. So like, yo, what, this is the first drift event you've driven in a while, hey? About a year and a half. Okay, so it hasn't been that long then. No. A little while though. But even then, like that year, I only did one or two events. Yeah. Just too busy working, building turbos. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Nice, man. Cool. today and other than that nothing so it's nice to actually get a couple laps in the car so yeah that pretty much is a wrap up of today i think um yeah it started raining really hard you know it's fun drifting in the rain but um it's everything's more slow motion it's not quite as intense um and you know when when you've been drifting in the dry at a certain track for a long time the rain is always a little more boring but so just at the end of the event here while everybody was packing up and leaving I hopped in the Volvo because I was trying to decide how I was going to get it towed home, who was going to tow it home for me, and uh, I tried to start it and it starts up. So I actually tried to start this car periodically throughout the whole event, once every hour. It did not want to start, now I just decided to start. It's almost like it started raining really hard, now it wants to start, I don't know. Um, kind of lame because I really would have liked to drift this with, the, with my friends today. But uh, thanks to Addison for letting me take his car for a rip, that was really fun. 
So just so you guys know, Total Turbo Services is obviously one of the sponsors of the channel now. So uh, if you guys have any sort of turbo stuff you want done, hit up Addison. He's the master with the turbos. He's got a full turbo shop with everything you need, um, full rebuilds. He can modify them. He can make them better. He can sell you turbos for a good price, uh, that kind of thing. So give him a shout. Uh, the link to his website is in the description of this video. Um, but yeah, guys, I think we'll leave you there for today. Hopefully this thing gets me home. Hopefully it doesn't shut off on the drive home. That would really suck. Uh, Cause I don't know how long it's gonna, you know, take to get it running again. But 